Good morning, Wildcats. Today is April 13th. I'm Amelia. And I'm Christian. Welcome to World Names Wednesday. Austrian Chancellor Karl Niemer met with President Vladimir Putin on Monday, the first Western visit since the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine. Niemer described Putin as a tough and direct when referring to the invasion and the subsequent war crimes conducted by the Russian forces towards civilian targets. President Biden has announced the beginning of increased crackdowns on ghost guns or self-manufactured firearms purchased in kits. These kits have had little to no regulation by the federal government in the past and are a breeding ground for criminal purchase. All ghost guns will be required to have a serial number, making them easier to track. In hindsight of Will Smith's controversial actions at the 2022 Oscars, the Academy has decided to deny his entry into any Academy Awards for a period of 10 years. Smith accepted and respected the decision, one that some consider to be unjustified. Now, here's Luigi with the segment on Ketanji Brown Jackson. Jackson was born in Washington, D.C. in 1970 and grew up in Miami, Florida. Her father worked as a teacher, then a school board attorney, and her mother was a school principal. Jackson has said that she first started thinking about a career in law as a child when her father went back to law school. In high school, she participated in speech and debate competitions, including some held at Harvard University. In a fact sheet on Jackson's Supreme Court nomination, the White House said that the judge's high school guidance counselor told her not to set her sights too high when she said she wanted to attend Harvard University. She eventually wanted to graduate from Harvard College before graduating in 1996 from Harvard Law School, where she also served as a supervising editor of the Harvard Law Review. After graduating from law school, Jackson served as a clerk for Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer, whose seat she will be taking if confirmed. Among other posts, Jackson worked in private practice in the appeals division of the Office of the Federal Public Defender in the District of Columbia. She told a Senate committee hearing of last year that her work as a public defender was an opportunity to help people in need and to promote core constitutional values. During her time on the commission, Judge Jackson reviewed amendments to federal sentencing policies and demonstrated a consistent concern about the fundamental fairness of the proposed amendments and the even-handed treatment of individuals convicted of the crime. I have been inspired by Judge Constance Baker Motley, who was the first black woman ever to be appointed to the federal bench. She was a civil rights lawyer before she became a judge. It meant a lot to me in my career to have her as an inspiration, and I would hope to be an inspiration to other young people, she said in the video shared online. Sophomores supporting Shamrocks is collecting uniforms for students that are adopted the school, Killarney Elementary. The school is desperate for khaki uniform bottoms and dark green or white polo shirts for kids in needs. The school serves students from pre-K to fifth grade. All sizes are needed. Please reach out to your family and our friends who attend private schools for uniforms. Bring all donations to Mrs. Stock's class in room 242. We'll be an ACT test at Winter Park High School on April 19th. Don't forget to bring a calculator and your pencils. Our last blood drive of the school year will be on Friday, April 15th. Donors will receive a free wellness checkup and a One Blood tumbler when they donate. To sign up, find the One Blood table outside of the cafeteria during both A and B lunch. You must be 16 years old to donate. Senior graduation signs are available to purchase on school pay. This year we are offering two options. Number one, the home of a 2022 Wildcat with no name is $20. And number two, the home of a 2022 Wildcat with your name is $25. If you place your order by April 1st, it'll be available to be picked up in the front office by the 15th. If you place your order on April 15th, it'll be available to be picked up on April 29th. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a great Wednesday and go Wildcats.